r slash forever alone. Okay web 4590 says. I'm going to die a virgin. The main reason for this is, because paying a rescort disgusts me. No offense to anyone that does it, but I can't imagine paying someone to stand my presence enough to do sexual things to them. And outside of escorts I have way too many problems mentally and otherwise, and the cherry on top, is that I'm ugly. No one has ever seen value in me, and they most likely never will or should. I wish I could give up on thoughts of sex and relationships, they plague me and nothing but frustration and sadness comes from them. These thoughts just put me in a cycle of depression that never ends, and I can never stop thinking about how alone I am, and always will be. Movindran says. I take a certain pride in rather dying as a virgin than paying for it. Of course it's a cope. Mind Explorer says. I probably will too. But I will never pay for it, ever. Alternative Reason 23 says. If you think paying escorts is disgusting, there are billions of men out there who have to buy flowers, dinner dates, pay bills, sponsor shopping trips, buy engagement rings worth 3 months salary, get mortgages etc so as to impress a female enough that she lets him f back slash ck. All men pay for sex, including romantic relationships. Affectionate stop 37 says. Yeah. Me too. At my advanced age now the end seems more likely than not. Black Hustler 3 says. I'm with you bro. I'd never lose my virginity to a prostitute. If not with someone I love then it better not be with anyone. Period. Tupac Fan says. Me too. For Dinner Tonight says. I will too, but so what? Deiki Masaki says. Same. Candid Masterpiece 17 says. Same buddy, just a confidenceless loser over here him dying alone with no one to care besides family, they will be sad, but at least my imaginary partner won't be sad. Baebi Aguigui says. When I genuinely think about why I would love to experience a fruitful and successful sex life, it's mainly because the thought of being in the naked presence of a person who genuinely likes you, with whom you've established real trust, and you share a deep consensual and beautiful sexual desire and chemistry between the two of you, and you have a caring relationship established that can involve flirting and teasing. Exchanging cheeky messages and simply enjoying the trusting consent and sexual communication with your partner as it deepens and improves with time and experimentation and you can open up about your respective fantasies and live them out with somebody. The whole concept of having sex is having the vast and fulfilling relationship that accompanies it. Hiring an escort or sex worker is simply offering them a r slash forever alone. When Willy Belong says. I can't take it, when women try to give me advice. I know we all try, to avoid acknowledging the gendered reality of being forever alone, and I know there are some forever alone women whom I really do sympathize with. But when it comes to most women, they are so out of touch with the experiences of men, that they are delusional. It fact is, that women have a very narrow definition of what is acceptable for a man to be, and if you don't fall within that definition you are seen as worthless and you are treated as worthless. There is no you'll find your someone one day there is no be yourself there is no clean yourself up, and you'll be desirable. What there is, is rejection. Hundreds, upon hundreds of rejections. Finding a partner is winning the lottery, and in the obscenely unlikely chance that a woman is interested in you, you better hope she's no a psychopath. Too bad, it's all you'll get anyway. This is the delusion with women. They do not. Understand that it's not being alone that hurts. It's the complete loss of hope that you won't ever have any other option. That is what causes depression, not just in dating but in life. It is the loss of agency that causes depression. When you have no agency you have no hope. When you have no hope you start to feel like you may as well end it now instead of living out your life of nothing but misery. This doesn't make sense to women, because when a woman is tired of being alone she has the agency not to.
It's not agency in the sense of being able to do something. It's in the sense of being able to do something, and having that effort rewarded. They cannot see past that lens. Not just women, many men too. Attractive men and wealthy men. Men who pass the bar. What's wrong with me? Nothing really. I just don't pass that bar to be worth something. For dinner tonight says. I think it's best to just not participate in this whole thing altogether. Rukmat says. What advice are women giving you? Is this online or in person? Lady Sandman Tuljan says. My mom grew up a very beautiful woman, and told me my entire life to never chase after women, because the right ones will be the ones chasing after me. That strategy, did. Not work lol. Southern External 37 says. Advice women give me, just be yourself, and get out there, you'll find someone advice men give me, just go to the gym bro it's honestly just depressing. Throw me way at 35 says. Yeah, it's not trying and failing. It's trying with, so minuscule a chance of success that it most likely won't happen in your lifetime. And then every failure builds a compounding pain, that eventually can no longer be soothed by anything short of actually getting the love and affection we need. It's like a chronic illness. Furthermore, some of us are so far gone, that it'll take some time to recover and heal if we did find our dream girl slash guy. Just one of the things normal people just won't understand. Fact check Kaya says. It is the loss of agency that causes depression. When you have no agency you have no hope. I've often felt that having some power to change some things helps to alleviate depression, even if it's not the main big things that you want changed, being able to change what you think you want is also powerful but yes, when you can't get past wanting something, and you can't get it, and you can't do anything that will help you get it either, it's hard. King Jaquez 2323 says. Already no PPL gone, call you names over this posts, but perfectly said post. ST3636 says. I'll let them give me their platitudes. When I tell them my plan of getting financially independent, and then spending my days around town on my scooter going to random places, talking to as many girls as I can, and asking all of them out one by one, they look at me like I'm mad. Even though they know that's my job in a nutshell, and I'm doing it every day, save the ask out part of course. Buzzer, hello good morning mom, it's, delivery platform name here. They likely believe it's some kind of magic. Not a matter of meeting the right one at the right time. R slash forever alone. Wooden trip 8053 says. Anyone else feel like a lot of people on forever alone are dating want highly specific, borderline impossible things? I hope this is allowed. I post slash lurk on r slash forever alone, dating. And while I, a CIS head dude, only tend to see posts by women, I'm starting to feel like more people are getting hyper specific with their asks. Like, they'll keep emphasizing a traditional relationship, where they play housewife, while their partner works. Or they'll want someone who's over 6 feet tall despite being, like, 5 feet 3 inches. It just makes me feel like these people are missing the point of being for very alone, when they keep posting about how lonely they are, yet their threshold for a relationship is dictated by physical and or financial realities which limit the pool of preferred applicants. And this isn't me saying why, don't women like me, because I have so, so many issues. It's just that at some point it starts feeling, like half the people claiming to be for very alone create their own problems by refusing to live outside their deepest fantasies. But maybe it's always been that way. Ok Web 4590 says. People on there go through a breakup, and think that means they are forever alone. No one on there actually is forever alone. It's just used as another dating avenue for normies. Cursed Rando says. Now I feel like far people would accept damn near anything. If you're that picky then you just aren't far. Throw away 54734 says. 
I mean yeah there's a reason they're single. Swift Salmon says. I find it absurd how many people there are explicitly looking for a soulmate or a forever love or the one. It just screams out of touch and desperate emo. Keep put 4092 says. Yeah right time to lower my standards from human to living being. Mindless Impress 641 says. No you're correct I've met both men and women on here exactly like that. Only forever alone in the sense that they have ridiculously high expectations. Brain dead left he says. Thinking that you're going to find your ideal partner in a group like that is a bit crazy. It reminds me of the old ads they used to run in local newspapers saying woman 35, good sense of humor, seeks man I once went on one of those dates, and it was one of the most excruciating experiences of my life. We had zero attraction for each other and nothing in common, except that we were both looking for a partner. Sfault says. I feel like it's a byproduct of that sub not requiring a verification of some sort, I feel like a requirement should be, that you have to be in either this sub or a devere of this sub, fat women, and the other, and last requirement is, that your post must have a facial verification of you holding up your username, sorta of what r slash amiably does. But anyway the reason I've said all this is bc a lot of the ppl there are either a, not far or b, bots. That's why all the success stories are years old BC it's become a place for scamming, and it's more profitable to target men's loneliness this day and age. Immo I'd urge PPL to stay away from that sub. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.